one of my viewers uh, noted a problem that I had with uh, the way I set my engine up and what I had done initially was to take this fuel overflow line and I had it looped up over the top of the carburetor and he pointed out that I needed to bring it down below the bottom of the carburetor and in the bottom of it let's see if I can zoom in here at the bottom of it I cut just a small hole just a little bit of a drain where the excess fuel if this bowl overflows can flow out and then be dumped overboard so I just simply pulled out these tabs they do pull out carefully turned the hose around and reinserted them on the front as well as on the rear so there you have it another correction one of my viewers that was so kind as to note the problem and say well you might want to fix that and I did there we go and there's the engine now I've been doing the wiring behind the panel I do have the battery set up with a positive lead and negative lead going to chassis ground I have a small bus bar down here the positive from the battery goes from here and then there's a solid copper bar here and then from here uh, I have it fed out <coughs> and going up to the primary bus I have a second lead which is a hot lead going over to a panel over here it's uh, run through this fuse and through this circuit breaker 25 amp breaker this is a 35 for the primary bus and this is a 25 for the avionics bus and then the rest of these are for fuel pumps I got a 15 amp breaker for the fuel pumps and the other ones are for uh, other applications here I have power going up to my flap switch flap motor I take that back the 15 amp <laughs> is for the flap motor and a 5 amp for the fuel pumps anyways I'm getting the wiring completed and as you can see I have mounted the flap motor is mounted up here it is the rod end sticking out behind here and I don't know how well we'll be able to see this underneath here if it'll even show up on the videos but the flap motor is right here ah. yeah, it's going to be hard to see that up here this is the aft end of the motor and it attaches up here the top of the root tube with an AN5 bolt eventually this will rod will come out which will push the flaps up right now it's in the fully retracted position which would bring the flaps down I will set my flaps the length of this and my flaps for 30 degrees down at full retraction and then neutral when it extends out yeah that's about it just uh, one day at a time one project at a time and uh, here's a view of the battery from underneath the panel there certainly lots of clearance for it get a side view of it here yeah fits pretty good now I just have to finish up wiring the back of the panel here thanks for watching the videos